Carving Guitar Bodies, Part 2. Carve the back side of the body using the same methods that we used to carve the front, using a series of rasps, Use a curved rasp to curve the inside edges, and move on to a flat rasp to curve the outer edges. Here I'm using a rasp I had on hand and a Shinto saw rasp for the flat rasp. The Shinto saw rasp is maybe one of the best tools you could get. It has a coarse side and a fine side and it is uh, essentially a series of bandsaw blades that are riveted together in a diamond pattern. Once you're done, we'll move on to sandpaper. This will take care of the uh, rough surface. Start, uh, the rougher the better. I'm using 60 grit here. This is more for material removal to take care of any leftover chisel marks and deep scars left by the rasps. You want to move through the grits, starting fairly rough, 60 is very rough, you may want to start at 100, and we're going to gradually move our way up to no more than about 320 grit. Again 60 is for material removal. You don't want to go much finer than 320. If you go too fine, you'll find you might have trouble getting your finishes that you apply to stick to the surface of the guitar, whether that be paint or stains. Move to the back. You want to be very thorough throughout this entire process. Uh, it helps to have a light not directly above but on the side and you'll view your work from the side and this will show um, any grooves you might have left over. Um, what you're looking for are shadows and when you remove all the shadows you have a smooth surface. You also want to feel the surface with your hands the entire time. You'll be able to feel any little uh, scratches that may be left over or that you may have missed. When you're done, if you'd like to have an idea of what the grain will look like when you apply your finish, because it will get darker even with a clear finish, apply some mineral spirit to a paper towel and wipe that onto the surface of your guitar. This will give you a better idea of the post-finish look. This will help you in the future when trying to judge what color you want to make it or what type of figuring you could expect to see from the guitar. And as you can see here, the, uh, the mineral spirits allow the grain of the quilting to pop. And it really gives a better idea of what the finished product will look like. You'll notice I have not drilled any holes for the bridge. This is because we're going to do that later after the pickups are installed, because this will let us align the bridge and the strings to the poles of the pickups.